I don't know what I'm more sick of. All the stupid articles about Gary and Conley. Or the people commenting on it. Who say stuff like, Well, you did nothing wrong. Why are you charging him? Leave him alone. Leave the brother alone. Well, he did plenty wrong. As my memory serves me, he organized three days before the draft an impromptu gangbang at his hotel, which he was staying, with a girl he had just met that evening who did not seem like she met him, like she was just tagging along. The people he was with, um, or Probably not the best character. The story's changed, I believe. His story changed. Not long after the accusations, you um, you have him changing his story. He said he didn't do anything, and then he said something like, oh, they had a sexual event or something. Um, that was like, probably not his words, probably his lawyer's words. You have all these articles saying... Uh, he doesn't have to worry about any sort of discipline by the NFL. I mean, how ignorant can you get? He's being accused of rape. That is a serious charge. That is a felony. If he is arrested, he is going to perhaps bail himself out with his new contract. But the judge is not going to let him leave Ohio. Maybe not even the county. Wherever Cleveland is in Ohio. Whatever the county's called there. He's not going to be able to leave that state, bottom line. They don't just let rapists go running around and just look at the schedule, his uh, itinerary. He's not going to Mexico. You can't leave the country if you're out on bail. He would be a high flight risk, some people would say. But this is a little more complex, but it's very simple. I'm going to make it very simple for you to understand this. Because a lot of people don't seem to understand. They're like, fuck the girl. She, she, she's a dig gold digger. She's just digging the gold. And uh, the other people are... You know, oh, they shouldn't have drafted him, blah, blah, blah. And going back and forth, and you have to understand what's really going on here. The court system is not a system of justice. Where you think justice, you might think the word justice is synonymous with truth. Um, that's not right. Uh, it, oftentimes it's how much money you have. Because the court itself, and it's got many different factions under it under its umbrella is a court operation not a corporation a court operation they're in it for the money do you think the judges are volunteers do you think those lawyers are volunteers they're all in bed together too the police it's a game what they what they're waiting for the reason they haven't charged him he doesn't have any money yet. How are they going to make money off of him if he doesn't have money yet? They charge him. Uh, they're either going to have to go to trial. They don't want to go to trial over this. This is all convoluted. They don't want to deal with these witnesses. Just going back and forth of, you know, who said, what said, she said. And they might even um, acquit him. He might even be acquitted. But what is that going to do for them? They need to have someone they can get money from. He doesn't have any money yet. He hasn't signed his rookie contract. As soon as he signs his rookie contract, he's being charged with rape. Now, before you think, well, he didn't do anything. He didn't do anything. Look, the, the threshold to charge someone, it is way lower than to convict someone. Get that through your head. They can charge anyone for any reason. Now, judge might throw certain things out. 
but he's not going to throw this one out. He would not throw this one out if they charged him because, because of all the conflict in uh, statements and including his. So he will not throw that out. He's not going to throw that out because he's in it for the money too. And what they're going to do is they're waiting for him to uh, to sign his contract so they can have something to go after. And they do have a lot of leverage. And I suppose he could hold out a whole year. Because I think that may be the time limit where they'd have to charge him. It's not murder. I don't know. I really don't know. I'm going to assume it's it could be a year they have to charge him. It could be three years. I don't know. It's still a long time. He would miss the entire season by holding out. And that's not going to happen. Because he's going to get a lot of pressure from the Raiders to sign right now. They need him. So they know that. The court knows that. They're waiting for him to sign. Now they know no judge is going to allow him to leave the state or county. And I'm sure his lawyers glued him on in on that. I'm sure the Raiders know that. They're going to, they're going to play in Mexico. They're going to play in other parts of the country. They're, I don't think they're playing in Cleveland at all. Unless Cleveland makes it to the playoffs or something. So, and even then. So they're going to wait for him to sign his contract. So they have something to go after. Always have to have something to go after. And they don't want to go to trial, like I said. They don't want to go to trial. Because trial doesn't do anything. They know he's probably not going to be convicted. He's never been in trouble before. You know, it's not that much of a thing or whatever. There's, they don't fit too much by it. By ruining his entire NFL career. They might not get away with it. You see, that's the thing. It's kind of like the... What was the show? Uh, I don't know if it was The Price is Right or the one where they had all the curtains. You had to pick the who's behind the curtain and what. I mean, what's behind. Sometimes it was a donkey or something. It's kind of like that. They don't want to take their chances with a trial and have him walk away and them walk away empty-handed. So they know that if he goes to trial, he misses the entire season because he will not be able to leave the state. And they will make sure he knows that. And this is where he is going to plead guilty to some sort of misconduct. Some sort of lower charge, you will plead guilty and offer to pay a fine. Mark my words. And then he will have to deal with the girl. He will have to pay the girl something. Then he can move on. He better get it through his thick skull right now because that's exactly what's going on. It doesn't matter what you think, if he's guilty or not guilty, if he did nothing wrong. Maybe you think that was okay, a gangbang at 3 a.m., three days before his lottery ticket came in. I mean, real good, real smart there. Real smart, these athletes. Uh, and all these articles saying they're not getting paid enough. All, like the NBA, NBA players that come out and they get $100 million contracts. And they're kids. And they're stupid. And they have the mentality of a four-year-old. Four-year-old that's reached puberty. So he is going to get charged for something. He's going to plead guilty to a certain judge. Or he's going to miss the entire season. He will have to pay them a certain amount of money. And to the court paration. And it will be over after that. And then the girl. Whatever. You have to, you have to settle with a girl. I don't know how much he would have to pay, but he's going to have to pay something. And I'm sure she's going to have a, um, a gag order. Or whatever you call it. You know, if they settle, she's got to keep her mouth shut. She doesn't go, um, Baba Walters isn't around anymore, so she can't go on Baba Walters. Uh, she won't uh, be able to go run around the country with uh, Gloria Allred. Or going on on Ellen. He raped me. He raped me. He sexually misconducted me. Or uh, whatever. We had a sexual event and I did not want to have a sexual event. 
That's not going to happen. They will get her to shut up. And she will go away. But the bottom line is he has to do this now. In fact, he's wait he's wasting too much time. A little Menafanyu or whatever his name is, Obi-Wan Raider has not signed either. But they need him to sign. To put it behind him. It's got to happen now. This is what's going to happen. I'm telling you right now. Hope the Raiders hear this because they might be stupid. I have no idea. I have no idea how bright they are. But they do have lawyers and they must know this is what's going on. They would have charged him by now if it was like something imminent. But they do not, they cannot afford to have him miss the entire season. They can't afford, just like the corporation can't afford to look down the road to try to convict him. They can't afford uh, to think they're going to argue with a judge that he can't leave the state. Because the judge is in bed with everyone there. Don't even think he is an independent party. He is not. They all swim in the same hot tub. And he is not going to allow them to allow him to leave the state and go play football. Unless he ponies up the greenbacks. And that's what's going to happen. I'm telling you right now. Because there's no reason why this hasn't been settled in some way so far. There's nothing to investigate. It's a bunch of stupid people doing stupid things at 3 a.m. And one of them won the lottery in the corporation wants their peace. That's what's going to happen. I don't care if you like it or not. That's what's going on. The Raiders need to move on for this, on from this. He needs to move on from this. He will be able to afford an attorney. He will give up money. Uh, it's tax write-off, I suppose. Um, it happened this year. It'll be a tax write-off next year. I mean, he's going to need some tax write-offs, so... It's something he has to do right now. He needs to sign with the Raiders and move on. Because otherwise, this is just going to carry on and carry on. And what's going to happen is... He's not going to be helpful to the Raiders this year, and he might miss the entire season. Because after a while, they'll just say, the hell with it. We're just going to charge you with rape. You will miss the entire season. And they'll, you know, maybe we don't win the lottery this time, but, you know, maybe next time. But that's not going to happen, because he's not going to want to miss the whole season. The Raiders are going to put pressure on him, and he's going to plead guilty to some sort of misconduct. Mock my words.